Steamroller. It is part of pretty much the newest set in Fortnite Save the World. It's basically a high damage and impact revolver with pretty high recoil. Now I haven't used this at 130 level just yet, but this is the first time using it at 130. These are the rolls. We have two we have a crit damage, a reload speed, energy, damage, and a crit rating. Now I have the reload speed on there just because I believe it was something like three seconds. It was just a bit slow. So that's why I have the reload speed on there. Now this should crit massively, 435% crit damage, that's because of our pistol hero build we have. I used this at 82 level and it worked absolutely amazingly, so I definitely thought I will make this 130. This is using all those evolution materials when I recycled the basilisk, because I just wasn't impressed with the basilisk, so I thought I'd put it into something I would really like, and I do quite like this. But let me firstly show you my hero loadout. As always with my pistol crit builds, I am using make it count plus to increase our critical hit damage. We have preemptive strike to just do a better damage against those full health enemies. We have blazer glory so every time we phase shift it increases our damage by for 4 seconds. Hip shot just to increase base pistol damage by 70%. Phase cannon so every time I phase shift we get a second pulse, another projectile pulse which is very very useful if there is a massive horde. It is quite annoying at sometimes it does get in your way but it is a very useful perk. Six shooter to increase pistol damage by 20%. I mean, impact by 20%. And, da oh yeah, pistol damage by 20%, sorry. And impact by 25% for the first six shots in the magazine. And there's only six shots in this magazine as well. So, every single shot would get that 20% damage buff. And locked and reloaded. So, every time we reload, we get a 15% weapon damage buff. Okay, we are in a mission. And it's actually a higher power mid-level mission than we normally do. I keep all them normally at power level 100 just to be the same as all the other ones that we've done in the past before the Twine Peaks update but let's just do a tiny bit higher, higher power level now he's got the shrapnel perk I love that shrapnel perk because what it does basically does damage to husks behind when a little bit shrapnel let's try and focus on that again here we go oh it didn't work there look at that it managed to kill the lobber behind it is a oh this is a good weapon you can just see that I like this weapon already, I really do. Now there's a smasher over there, hopefully no one takes it. I want this smasher to myself. Really want that smasher, let me go get it. Got to reload, then phase shift. Come on, here we go. Oh, we didn't even crit. Now on crit, that seemed to do a lot of damage. That was really good. Now I'm not actually, actually like spam firing either, so we could have done that a lot quicker. I do like this weapon. Look at that. That is fantastic. It really is. Again, oh, I'd, let me just get rid of the face cannon. I'm not sure how far the cone goes. Not very far. It's around a tile, the cone. Let me just see if it says it in the actual stats. 15, 40, no. Just a cone behind the target. It doesn't say the range of that cone. Oh, I don't think we can get it through that. Might have to aim a bit higher because it kind of dips. Now, the one thing that doesn't, I don't like about the weapon I can't say I don't like it. It actually fits with this weapon, I'll say. Is the it's a projectile. Now normally if you've ever seen any of these videos with projectile weapons, I hate them. I absolutely hate projectile weapons, but I feel like it fits this weapon absolutely perfectly. Just reload again, try and get this smasher. Now on crit, you saw that on crit, it is really good. That's a really good smasher killer. Now, when I use the 82 version of this. We managed to two hit, I believe, a power 94 smasher, which was very, very good. Both headshots, both crits. Doesn't do, like, a jaw-dropping amount of damage when you headshot and don't, not headshot, when you just don't crit. It's still decent, though. It's really difficult to get through these shielders, not shielders, right huskies, just because it's quite a large cannon. I don't know why I'm still trying. There we go, we did it eventually. Is that another smash or is that an encampment? It's an encampment over there. But I do like... I want to try Blast as well. It has quite a lot of range on it. Now, there's, is that a... That is actually a Blaster. Let's see the range on this. So we'll go, what, 10 tiles away? Oh, we didn't even crit. Oh, did you see a lot of damage? And we're losing damage as well. I think we'll be able to one-shot a Blaster. I mean... I only did that because I know it can one-shot blasters at a massive range. Again, it was a power 94 blaster. It was around this range. I have to aim a bit higher because it does dip. Oh. 
Okay, probably a bit closer, but it was quite a decent range away where I managed to one shot a blaster. But I really, really like this weapon. That's why I managed to get it to 130. I did say I recycled the basilisk for it. Because the basilisk didn't wow me as much as people made out. Of the, they felt like it was amazing. I wasn't a huge fan of the basilisk. Now I need to find a place where I can phase shift properly. Get my additional damage. Where's that smasher gone? Where'd they go? Right, here they are. Oh, the lag. Just look at that crit. We're doing around 30% damage on crit, which is great. Look at that. That is great. I'm not very good at hitting headshots because it is a projectile weapon. But that is still fantastic. Let me just take all this off. Get the super stash for everyone. Ooh, what is that goodie? I don't know what that was. Wrench. Are there more miss monsters down there? I believe there are. Let's go and test them out on these guys over here. Before we do the actual mission. Just want to get some good footage of... Oh, it's a cactus. I've done myself. Right, let's test the range again. The shrapnel, there we go, one shot of husky. Not many, you know, this is a decent fire rate pistol as well, but not many things can one shot huskies. Very good weapon, I want to train them again. Get rid of the face pulse, let me just train them around. This will be fantastic, okay, you can use the face pulse with this build as well, but I don't really want to use that just yet, but... The cone, whenever we get the cone. Come on, I want to train properly. That cone, we just one shot four husks with a single shot because that shrapnel perk it is one of my favorite perks in this game since it got patched it is absolutely amazing but look at this let's see the travel time actually let's just look at the travel time get rid of that again so it's quite decent there is some travel time there i do actually like it like i said i'm not a massive fan of projectile weapons but this one, it just feels right. I don't know if anyone understands what I mean by that, but it just feels right that this is a projectile weapon rather than a hit scan weapon. Let's see the um, reload speed should be 1.7 seconds. Done. That's quite good for a six shot, six shooter. Let's call it a six shooter because it is six bullets, but that's quite good. Right, I'm going to start building the actual tracks and all that, and then we'll hopefully start doing the mission. All right, the bomb is currently being delivered, so we can test this out a bit more. Now, I just want to compare it with the Basilisk. Now, look, it was when we didn't crit. That was the thing noticeable. That is why I recycled the schematic for the Basilisk. Which is just really put me off. But, again, the fire rate is slower on this. But, oh boy, it's a lot better. Oh, come on. I say it and that happens. But, the Steamroller, in my opinion, is so much better than the Basilisk. Slower fire rate, but, boy, it was a lot better when we can crit. Absolutely love it. It's got the shrapnel perk and everything. Great for hordes. You get a load of husks coming your way. You can say nope, just shoot one and it should hopefully wipe the rest out. Really, really fun weapon to use. Is it one of the best weapons in this? Is it steampunk set? It is a steampunk set. Possibly. I really, really like this. But I don't think I haven't even tried every weapon in the steampunk set. Has a massive one shot capability on everything but smashes. But still, it is fantastic. Really good. Really, really good. No other husks coming so far. Right. Let's get to the actual mission then. Okay, we have just started the objective. I will hopefully have this spawn mostly to myself. But let's just see how viable this is. I really like it. I haven't tried it in a mission this high yet. At 130 level. Now look, you do see the travel time. But on crit, it is absolutely crazy. Like, look at that as well. Just... If you get husks all in one row, you can just melt them with a single shot. Yes, it has a 1.5 second cooldown, but this only has a 2 fire rate. So that means absolutely nothing. Every other shot, basically, you'll be managing to do this. Get in that shrapnel perk. It's so good since they did fix it, though. It was annoying at the start. There we go, we just got two. Look at that. He was um, panicking with his, what well, I don't know what, duet, I think that was. I'm not too sure. I didn't really see the weapon. Just going by the sound. They were panicking, and we come in, two shots, three huskies. So, so good. I feel like the, sh the shrapnel perk definitely works better on the slower fire rate weapons, though, just because they, I don't know, they do a bit more damage. A lot more damage. Let's just, again, train them here like this. That's not going to work as well. Okay, a lot are coming through. But they have the super shielders, which is going to be a pain. Let's try and just stand my ground. Look at that. Fantastic. Again, quite a few coming here. Oh, it's the mini boss. Sloan pools, nature, not fantastic. No, stop doing it. 
Look at that. Absolutely threw everything. Crazy good perk. How good are we doing against a mini boss? That's quite good. I can tell you, that is quite good. Against a mini boss. Not quite a tank. Look at the crit we're doing on it. It's crazy. Look at the health of the mini boss going down. Normally, mini bosses can take a really long time just to get. But that's going quite fast. I think they'll they'll gladly finish it over there. It is, it's difficult at range, especially when moving enemies, just because it has that travel time. All right, I really want to help this side out, so I'm going to put some turrets around on well, both sides, really. But shrapnel perk. Oh, oh this would be a good one. Oh, it did work, but we didn't seem to get everything there. Just out of the range, but maybe. Really, I don't know. I don't think the shrapnel perk is perfect. I feel like it's sometimes inconsistent, but again, it is a fantastic perk to have on your weapons. Again, it just... Oh, here we go. This should get a few. Or not. There we go. We got quite a few of that. I know I had my face pulse as well. We got another one there. This is so good. I'm, I really think I should change face pulse with Survivalist Jonesy just for missions like this where my health isn't amazing. This is a fantastic weapon, though. I don't really want to use the Basilisk in this video. I might do a tiny bit toward the end. But I didn't like the Basilisk. I'll use it again, but... Like, look. Look at that. Just over half health. In for, uh, for me, that isn't enough, really. I get it's got a fast fire rate, the Basilisk, but... That is the reason I recycled it. I was just really disappointed with the Basilisk. Look at that. We're getting so many shielders. So many shielders. Maybe if we fire at a shielder... The cone might count us down as well. Let's see. It's tough to hit the shield up, but there we go. The shrapnel perk is fantastic. This is one of the, I don't, like I said, I haven't tried everything. What's happened here? There we go. We wiped out quite a few there. Then a grenade went and finished the rest. I haven't tried everything. It, there we go again in this steampunk set. But what I have tried, like the, is the Jack's Revenge in the steampunk set? Let me see. No, that's Flintlock. Never mind the Jack's Revenge. Then this one. I really like this one. I don't really think I've tried anything else in the steampunk set. But this... Oh, the duet. I quite like the duet as well. I put a fire rate on that since. But this is a very good weapon. If you enjoy pistols, you will enjoy this exact pistol. Right, I'm actually using a 106 version this time. I've crafted another against these enemies. But let's see if we can one-shot that blaster over there. Let's see if we can do it. There's four people as well now. How about this one? There we go. On crit, we actually can hit the one buster. This one was out the crit. Remember, though, this is the Power 106 version, comparing that with the 130 one we did before. But again, it is a fantastic weapon. If you like pistols, definitely perk this up. So, summarizing the Steamroller, it is actually one of my favorite pistols in the game. Now, when this first came out, I looked at it as like, ugh, slow fire rate. I don't really ever want to perk it up, but. I was wrong when this event first came out. If you love pistols, you will love this pistol. It crits absolutely amazingly hard and still does a bit of damage when you don't crit. Like It's still a decent amount of damage when you don't crit. I believe it can still one-shot husks and hustlings, which is very good. But as you saw, the shrapnel perk as well works absolutely amazing. Like with a double, we had, what was it, three huskies halfway through that defense. Two shots killed them both. We had four husks at one point. One shot killed all four of them because of that shrapnel perk. It works amazingly. It works very well on the double boiler. This is a fantastic shotgun. Because, it, again, slow fire rate, high damage. It works very well on this, slow fire rate, high damage. They are really, really good. I love this weapon. I Again, smashes as well. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to manage to get the two shot on a smash, which I have done off video. When by power level 82 version against a 94 smasher. But... Again, it is a very good weapon, so let me know what you guys thought of this, and as always, thank you for watching.